There is nothing quite like match day inside a football stadium, especially when there's so much on the line. The build-up has been intense, and now we just can't wait for us all to begin. It's anyone's guess, though, which team will come out on top in front of a packed house. Stay tuned, we have it live. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Portugal, and they take on Spain. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality. A glorious chance. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger, and holding on to it at the second time of asking. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Here's the lineup for Spain. Carvajal starts with Gaia in the fullback positions. Ferran Torres plays with Oyarzabal in the wide positions. And the main striker today is Morata. Gaia. And Spain unable to hold on to the ball. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose but really sticking to their task defensively. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Marino, can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. It's a short corner. Torres. Chance here. Great defending. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Rodri. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Fabian. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Torres. Well, this is what you call passing with confidence. Fabian. And Portugal regaining possession. Bruno Fernandes now with Cancelo Leal now with Otavio well it did look promising but no threat in the end Carvajal the ball with Rodri And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. <laughs> Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there.
Pau Torres. Gaia. And options in the centre. Gaia. And back to Gaia. Gaia. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Otavio. He could pick out a teammate. And Bernardo Silva has it. Must take the lead here. Ronaldo. Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. Offside, not that anyone knew. Carvajal. Lenormand. The ball with Rodri. Mikel Marino. Carvajal. For attacking possibilities. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And over it comes. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Quarting him. Rodri. And he takes it on. Not oh, covering up defensively. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Well, just listen to this noise. How could you not be inspired by that? Really fine play to keep possession. And Bernardo Silva has it. Trying to open up the defence. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Gaia. Morata. Oh, good vision. Will it be? Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. So, a personnel change then. Wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. Lenormand. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Portugal finding space on the wing. Strong play here. Torres. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Morata succeeded in keeping it in play. There we have it. The 90 minutes are over and nothing to choose between the sides.